good morning students my name is sunita mb i am your zoology lecturer i am going to teach you a phylum porifera the porifera are the second phylum of a animal kingdom the word porifera comes from a latin language porus means por fero means to bear the por bearing animals are called as a porifera the porifera may be defined as a asymmetrical or radially symmetrical multicellular organisms with a cellular grade of organization without well defined tissue and organs and the asymmetrical animals means the body parts are irregularly arranged around the central axis and the radially symmetrical animals means the body can be split into two equal halves by any plane passing through central axis the porifera included in a parazoa parazoa it is a branch of a metazoa metazoa it is a sub kingdom of a animal kingdom in animal kingdom there are two sub kingdoms one is a protozoa and another one is a metazoa in metazoa three, there are three branches that is mesozoa parazoa and eumetazoa and this porifera included in a parazoa in porifera approximately 10000 species are present and the porifera are also called as a sponges and next come to the general characters of a sponges or a porifera these porifera are present in a aquatic and these poriferans are mostly marine except the family called a spongilidae these are present in a freshwater forms and the porifera are the sedentary solitary or colonial forms the sedentary means they are attached to a some rock or a shells they are submerged to a rock or a shell they are fixed to some organism or a, like a shells and the solitary means they are present in a single or individual organism and the colonial means the poriferans are making a group that called as a colonial animals and the body shape is a wash shape or a cylindrical shape or it may be a branching or globular shape and the body of a poriferans surface it is perforated by a numerous tiny pores that is called a ostia the through ostia the water enters through body of a porifera and the one or more large openings are present that is called a oscula this oscula it is a largest pore the water passes out through oscula from the body of the porifera the next characteristic of a porifera and these poriferans are a diploblastic animals diploblastic animals means in a multicellular body consisting of a two germ layers that is outer ectoderm and inner endoderm with an intermediate layer of a mesenchyma this mesenchyma it is also called as a mesoglia so that mean that diploblastic animals has two germ layers that is outer ectoderm and a inner endoderm with a middle mesoglia or a mesenchyma and the next characteristic is a these animals are having a numerous canals which lined with the conocytes in a poriferans the body is lined with the numerous cells and those cells are called as a conocytes and the central cavity or a interior space of a sponge body or a poriferan body it is called as a spongio seal the spongio seal it is a central cavity of a poriferan body and the, it is a allo or a permeated by the numerous canals and it is lined with the cells called a conocytes and the main characteristic of a poriferans the internal skeleton of a porifera it is made up of a spongin fibers or a spicules and these spicule it is made up of silica or 
calcium. That's why these spicules called as siliceous spicules or calcareous spicules. And in a poriferans, the mouth is absent and the digestion is intracellular. That means the digestion takes place within a cell and here the excretory and the respiratory organs are absent and the nervous and the sensory cells are not differentiated that in a porifera it is a devoid of nervous system and the sensory system and the these sponges are monoecious are armoprodite that is the both male and female organs are present in a single uh, individual in sponges the sperms and ova are produced from a single cell called a archaeocytes from archaeocytes both sperms and ova are present these archaeocytes are present in a mesoglia or a mesenchyma in porifera both asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction are present asexual reproduction occurs by a birds and gemmules birds through it is a outgrowth of a or a part of the body and it leading to a individual growth and the gemmules are the reproductive organs of a poriferans the next characteristic of a porifera this porifera possesses a high power of regeneration the power of regeneration is a very great in a sponges the regeneration means any piece or any part of the body of a porifera is capable of growing into a complete sponge and the next character is a sexual reproduction occurs by a ova and sperms and here the fertilization is internal the fertilization is internal means the fusion of a ova and sperm takes place within a body and the cleavage is holoplastic the holoplastic cleavage means the complete division of a egg is called as a holoplastic cleavage and the here the development is indirect through free swimming ciliated larva called amphiblastula or parenchymula here the larval form of a porifera are called as a amphiblastula or parenchymula kaimula here the development is indirect that means the embryo develops into a young one with a some intermediate larval stages are called as a indirect development and the main character of a sporifera is a the organization of a sponges has been grouped into three main types that is a ascon type cycon type and a leucanod type due to simplicity in a some forms and a complexity in a others and the next come to the classification of a sponges the classification of a sponges is based on a types of a skeleton found in them the first class is a calcarea the calcarea it is also the word comes from latin calx means lime or a calcium and it is also called as a calci spongiae and the example of a calcarea is a leucosolenia here is a picture of a leucosolenia and clathrinia or a cycon or scapha here the picture of a cycon or scapha and grantia and the main characteristic of a calcarea the skeleton of a calcarea it is formed of a calcareous spicule that is a internal skeleton of a calcarea it is made up of a calcareous spicule and the canal system of a calcarea is a ascon type or leucanoid type or cyconoid type and the next class is a exactinilida or ilospongiae and this class is also called as a glass sponges ilos means glassy sponges means sponge and the example for a exactinilida is a ilonema 
and the characteristic of a exactinilida is a the skeleton it is made up of a six red trihexon spicules and which is made up of a silica and these are also called as a glass sponges and the next class is a demo spongia dermos means frame and the spongios means sponge and the example is a spongilla and u spongia and the characteristic of a demo spongia is a here the demo spongia are the largest number of a sponge species and these are large sized and the skeleton may be spongin fibers or a combination of a spongin fibers and the spicules and the canal system here is a complicated and the canal system of a demo spongia is a regon type and this demo spongia has a great economic importance and here the picture of a ilonima it is a example for the class exactinilidae and here the picture of a u spongia it is also called as a bath sponge it has a great economic importance and it comes under the class demo spongia and the next is a spongilla and it is a freshwater sponge it is comes under the class demo spongiae